What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So I'm just getting home. It's like one o'clock in the morning right now. Um, for those who don't know, we didn't live do the uh, SmackDown live stream and reaction only because um, we were celebrating Dub and Nisha's uh, 10 year anniversary them renewing their vows so that's why we didn't do uh smackdown uh didn't do, do our normal uh, smackdown um uh, live streaming reactions but i definitely wanted to check out to see what happened if anything noticeable happened and there was some stuff that did go down i was able to check out a few clips um actually before i got home when they started you know shutting things down at the venue or whatnot but we had a great time and i wanted to make sure i got this out to y'all um the most noticeable thing that happened is the contract signing they had the contract signing nick aldis was gonna have all the um uh, four competitors that's gonna be in the fatal four way to sign the contract right before the royal rumble and roman reigns essentially was going to pull a no-show he sent paul Heyman out there to basically tell nick aldis that no he is not signing this contract for the fatal four-way and that's it and the one thing I, I i really do appreciate with what they've done with nick aldis as this uh authority uh figure on smackdown he doesn't care he doesn't take no bs from anybody including roman and i like that he's not abusing his power but he's making it very clear who runs the show on smackdown so nick aldis was like all right cool roman don't has to come out to sign the contract because you had aj out there you had uh <clears throat> la knight out there and you had randy orton ready to sign it so nick aldis was like all right he doesn't have to come out here to sign this contract that's fine i'll just make it a triple threat match and the triple threat match will be for the newly vacated title. And that's when Paul Heyman got mad. Because Paul Heyman was about to walk away because he, he thought he handled it. But once Nick Aldis said, I will I will vacate Roman's title if he doesn't come out here. And we'll just have a triple threat match. That's when he walked down to the ring. And he 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 got in... Um, and uh, not he didn't get in Nick Aldis' face, but he basically was, you know, being disrespectful and trying to warn him of the situation at hand and, and what's going to happen. And that's when L.A. Knight started to interject his opinions. And I like what L.A. Knight had to say. He basically said that, <clears throat> to be honest with you, it shouldn't even be a triple threat, uh, a fatal four-way or whatnot it should really just be a rematch between me and roman because i'm the one that got screwed out recently y'all added uh aj styles and y'all added randy orton to the mix it really should just only be me aj styles had his own gripes he's like well to be honest with you i have beef with well, I had beef with the bloodline before you came into the mix. While they were beating the crap out of me and trying to end my career, you stepped over me to get your opportunity. And to be honest with you, technically, Randy Orton beats both of them in that situation because Randy Orton, per storyline, got taken out a few years ago, peak bloodline. So, really, Randy has... The, he really should be getting first dibs here, but Randy was kind of cool, chill, and stoic. And I like how they kind of revolved the theme of Randy Orton throughout the rest of the show, especially what, what happened towards the end. So at this point, <clears throat> they're going back and forth, and LA Knight, he walks out, about to walk out, um, and um, AJ Styles decides to attack him, and they start brawling, and they have to break him apart. And I love that. I think that's going to be a very interesting story that's going to play a very big factor <coughs> in this fatal four way because AJ and LA Knight, they don't like each other. Randy's just there to get his revenge in and win the championship. They're trying to get their revenge and also win the championship, but I think their disdain for each other is outweighing their importance of getting that championship from Roman. And I think that's 
uh, 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 situation that Roman Reigns is going to try to exploit because it makes sense. So I like what they were doing there. Them fighting back and forth, I, I enjoyed that. There was also a segment I was able to check out of Roman Reigns not liking the fact that Paul Heyman wasn't able to get the job done. Solo and Jimmy have been, haven't been able to get the job done the past couple of weeks against some of these guys. And he uh, Roman's going off. He's actually going off on Jimmy. And Solo steps in front of him. He steps in front of him. And he says, that's my fault. I'm going to take the blame for that. But don't worry. I'm going to take care of it, Tribal Chief. And he leaves. And Roman taking it back because he's standing up for Jimmy. In a, in a weird way. He's not actively like, yo, chill on Jimmy. You know, because Roman was really, he started going off on Jimmy a little bit, directing his anger towards him, but he kind of blocked it. And that's very interesting. They've been teasing something with Jimmy in, in Solo. Solo is in the past. I mean, Jimmy's in the past asked him, if, the, if something was going to happen to me, you would let me know, right? They're doing something. And I like that. They need to keep expounding on Solo finally saying enough is enough. I'm not doing this no more. And, and when that happens, it's going to be a, a very, very great situation. So we'll see how that plays out. But I did like that. And that was his goal. Solo's goal was to make everything right. He was able to uh he was able to uh, attack LA Knight. He was also able to attack um uh, AJ Styles and he ended up having a match with Randy Orton towards the end of the show. Uh Jimmy tried to get involved, but AJ Styles and LA Knight kind of put a stop to that. Uh mostly uh AJ Styles at one point put a stop to that. And that's when Randy Orton was able to hit a RKO on Solo. And Randy Orton pinned Solo. He pinned him. Pinned him in the ring. So it's not many, it's not often that Solo gets pinned. It's very interesting what they're doing there. I don't know how that's gonna play out, but Randy Orton hit uh, RKO on Solo. Um, I wanna say at this point, AJ and um <clears throat> and LA Knight get into the ring. Once again, they start getting into it. And Randy's like, you know what? RKO's for everybody. Ends up hitting uh, LA Knight with an RKO. Then he ends up hitting AJ Styles with an RKO. Then Roman comes out of nowhere. Superman punches Randy Orton, knocks him to the ground. <clears throat> Nick Aldis is by ringside at this point. And Nick Aldis gives Roman Reigns the contract. <clears throat> Roman Reigns is smug because everybody's down. He's the last man standing. He signs the contract. He's about to give it to Nick Aldis outside the ring. And he drops it on the ground because obviously he's going to be disrespectful to Nick Aldis. And then he's getting ready for his patented spear. He's talking his talk. He's talking it. And he gets caught with an RKO for his troubles right after he signed the contract. Randy Orton hit all of them with RKOs. Every last one of the competitors in the match with an RKO got laid out. And that's how they ended off the show. And uh, from what, just the clips that I was seeing, that was pretty cool. I thought that was that was dope. I like what they're doing there. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. I do think Roman is still going to retain. The question is, how? How does he retain? What would be the reason? What would be the catalyst that would allow him to retain the title? That's going to be very interesting to see how that play out. Also, I did see that we finally got Pete Dunn back. He doesn't go by Butch anymore. I saw the clips on Twitter. He's back as Pete Dunn. Yes, yes, yes. So, but yeah, man, I'm very interested to see how things play out. <clears throat> I definitely wanted to check this clip out. Um, well, these uh, several clips um, out involving the bloodline. Well, Roman Reigns, Bloodline, Solo, Jimmy, and and what's going to happen at the Royal Rumble. Um, it's, I'm looking forward to this Pay the 4-Way. Should be a good time. Y'all comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys feel <clears throat> that Roman Reigns will still retain? Or do y'all think um, WWE pulls an audible right before 
uh, WrestleMania. I, I, I highly doubt it. Maybe they do. I just don't see it happening. After what The Rock is uh, insinuated, I, I think it's it's a foregone conclusion that Roman's probably going to hold the title to WrestleMania this year. The question is, how will it happen at the Royal Rumble? What, what shenanigans will ensue to allow Roman Reigns to still be the champion? But I appreciate all the love and support you guys show on the channel. And once again, if you haven't already, go get, wish Dove and Nisha a happy 10-year anniversary. Um, and y'all know we ain't going to miss a, a Monday Night Raw or a SmackDown unless it's something important. And I I really do appreciate Dove allowing me to be one of his best men in this uh, in this wedding again. Uh, well, in this wedding, uh, they, they've had a wedding before, but um, this one, they had a bigger ceremony this time. I really do appreciate him allowing me to be his best, best man, be a part of that, and I wouldn't go miss that for the world, man. So, But yeah, I appreciate all love support. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.